Suspicions are running high in the northern English city of Middlesbrough, which has welcomed the highest number of refugees and asylum seekers since the start of the current crisis. Refugees say they've been concentrated in homes with red doors and that the doors are being used by racists to identify them and then attack their families. Landlord Joe Mast says it's a coincidence that much of its city housing stock has red doors, but it seems the words got out about the new residents. Jamal from Syria says he and his fellow asylum seekers have quickly found out that living behind a red door in Middlesbrough invites midnight disturbances and a lack of respect. Joe Mast is owned by controversial security giant G4S. Now government minister wants an inquiry. I am deeply concerned about the issues raised about the painting of doors of asylum seeker accommodation in a single colour. I have asked Home Office officials to look into this matter as a matter of urgency and report to me and to the Permanent Secretary. At Joe Mast, bosses are perplexed as to how the row has blown up into a national issue. Well, it was not an intended form of discrimination at all, and I don't accept that as, as, as being a valid comment. We haven't received a complaint from an asylum seeker. I, I don't accept the criticism. Few are suggesting malicious intent, but some are pointing to Joe Mast and parent G4S's past business practice records. One criticism noted the issue of door colours had been raised as far back as 2012 and added Joe Mast had failed to listen to residents or adapt policy.